Right, part three. Thanks for uh, coming back, if you are indeed coming back. And uh, so just to quickly recap, so far what we've got is a, where am I, a table, two tables in our database, one with text, one with the Metaphone equivalent of it. And we've also built two pages, one that enables us to enter text to add to our database, and the other which encodes it phonetically and inserts both the original and the Metaphone text into those two tables. So our next step is to build the search engine. So let's go ahead and create, first of all, the form. So I'm just going to save a new file here as search.php. And this is only going to need a form. So our method is post. So we'll be sending stuff in the post array and the action where we're sending it to, I'm just going to call a page search results.php. Okay. And there'll be two inputs in there. The first will be a text field, which I'm just going to give a name oops, of search. And the second input is, of course, the submit button. And I'll give that a value of search. All right, so uh, just remembering that the name of the text field is search because that'll be quite important and that it's going to be sent in the post array. So then what we need to do is create our search results page. So create a new file, save it as the search results.php. And on this page, the first thing we need to do is obviously connect to our database. So let's include our DB Connect file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to convert the search text into phonetic sounds. So I'm just going to create a variable called search text. And we'll run that through the Metaphone function. And remember, the stuff that has been sent through is in the post array and we called the field search. So that should take whatever was entered in the search field on the previous page that's been posted through. We run it through the Metaphone function and put the results in the search text variable. And then we're going to run our query. So here's our SQL. And uh, what we need to do here is we're going to be joining two tables together. So we're going to actually query the Metaphone text table. And if we find the match, we're then going to go to the text table and return the actual text results. So what we need to do is select from the metaphone text table everything and from the text table might as well get everything so the primary table we are actually selecting from is metaphone text but we wish to join the text table on and the criteria we want is in the metaphone text table we're going to take the text id of whatever record we've matched and take it over to the text table and find the corresponding id over there and the filter is where metaphone text dot sound and remember sound was one of the fields in metaphone text you can see it there metaphone text sound uh, is like and we're going to use like rather than equals because we want to use some wildcards here so uh, put a couple of apostrophes and in between them is the actual string that's going to be appearing and because the string could be in the middle of this and not necessarily at the start or the end. We're going to put the percentage sign either side of it. That means they're a wildcard. There could be text either side of it. And then I'm just going to break out of our, oops, break out of the um, oh, notepad's been really unhelpful here. Out of the, uh, the actual string query here, and then concatenate on that search text variable that we just created on the previous line. Search text and reconcatenate. Okay, and so there is the end of the query, I believe. Oh, notepad. Hopefully that's done it. Oh, it keeps removing things. Let me quickly check this. Uh, we've got the speech marks at the start and the end. That's all good. Uh, where metaphone text is like. Then we've got the apostrophes starting and finishing. The wildcard operators. Yep, that all seems to be good. Well done. Right, now we want to run that query. So I'm just going to create a variable called 
query, qry, and run that with the MySQLI, MySQLI query function. And there are two parameters, remember, there's the database connection string and then the actual query itself. And uh, we'll do this very basically, put this into a, an associative array, which makes it more easy to display the results. So, let's go. And the stuff that we're actually organizing here is the results in the query variable. And then we are going to need to display them. There could be multiple results, so we are going to have to use a do while loop. And the while stuff is while there is actually stuff being put into this associative array. Right, there we go. Now what we want to do is we want to echo the results. So I'll just put search result and then we'll just concatenate on something from that record set. Now that um, is an array, so that's why there are square brackets here. And from the text field, I'm pretty sure we had a check this from the text table yes we have a column called description and so that's what's going to be displayed here now of course we don't want this to go straight across the page so I'd better uh, put some oops, HTML tags in here so I'm just going to break out of the PHP long enough to put the HTML in there we go so that should now wrap our result in the paragraph tag right so if we just test this now Oops. If I search on the word quick, um, oh, sorry, that was my fault. I was fooling around with something before. Right, quick phonetically, and it's bringing back both results, which is fantastic. There is uh, one small problem though. Now, right now, this is, it seems to be working pretty well because if I put in fox like so, it returns both results. But uh, what happens if someone actually says, oh, what about that quick fox? It won't return any results. And the reason for that, of course, is that there is actually nothing in our database where it matches exactly quick fox. We have quick brown fox. So what we're going to do is we want to have a look and see, well, if that happens where this doesn't return anything, and so somebody does enter multiple uh, words into the search box, what we're going to do is we're going to explode those and we're going to run each of those words one at a time through the same process through the metaphone and then the matching and then we'll display all our results at the end so the way to do that returning to search results here um, you can see we're assuming we went straight to the do while loop we're assuming there were going to be results so right up here after the query has been run but before we put the results into an associative array I'm actually going to run a quick if statement and I want to say if the number of rows of this query variable are greater than zero, in other words it actually does return something, then we're going to do the following things and so there's my um, opening that and we'll close the curly brace down below and so all this stuff will be done. Now, what's the shortcut for moving the stuff in? There's got to be a shortcut. Ah, tab. There we go. So all this stuff here will be done if uh, we do get a result. However, what if it doesn't return a result, such as quick fox, which is returning nothing? But we know quick and fox are in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, else. So in other words, if it does equal zero, we're going to do the following stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that information that was posted through and we're going to explode that into a whole bunch of little words and we're going to run them through one at a time. So I'm just going to create a new variable now um, and I struggle with names so I'm going to call it search bit and this is we're going to explode and what we explode on we can set how we want to explode it so I'm going to say explode every time we hit a, sp a, a space I want you to break that up into another element in this array. So when they search on quick fox, it's going to put quick is one thing and then fox is another. And the thing that we're actually exploding is in the post array, it was whatever was entered into the search field. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we are going to run a for each loop over the top of this uh, new array we've created called search bit. 
and each time we go through we're going to take out a, a, a value and we're going to set it as a variable called dollar sign value which is what we're doing there so each time we loop through this is going to be set to something new and create a new thing I'm just going to call it metaphone bit and that's going to equal metaphone function applied to value so each time we go through it value is going to be run through the metaphone function and assigned to this variable and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to just do exactly what we did above so I'm going to grab the query and copy that and bring it down here and all we're going to be different in this query now is it says where metaphone text sounds like instead of search text it is now going to be metaphone oh, not but metaphone bit okay and actually then we can run the query so copy that and then we can organize the query into a record set and then we can do a little do while loop to dis display the results now there we go a lot of copying and pasting I hope that wasn't too fast so effectively what we've done now is we are going to be doing that thing that we did at the top the one when we run the query looking for the match and displaying all the results but we're going to do it for each word that they enter so I'll save that and let's see quick fox and I've made a mistake somewhere on line 19 oh that would make sense I forgot to put a semicolon way up there you can see after the while loop the very in the, the original search there should have been a semicolon there sorry right let's go back try that again quick fox nope same problem <laughs> line 36 getting sloppy sorry about that uh, at the end of the while yeah third time's the charm there we go now it's not beautifully elegant but you can see it has actually it's gone through and tried to look for every, everywhere that the word quick appears and it's found it in two places then it's gone through and looked for where the word fox appears and it's found it in two places as well so there you go uh, we've managed to get a, a search now if I actually put in quick brown for example it's just going to find the quick brown fox so it's actually found that match so in terms of the logic of our code it has actually found a match here so the if statement says yep that's true it's going to do this little loop here and display the results it will not do the explode if however they were looking for quick dog something like that um, now it won't find a match for quick dog exactly but it does go looking for quick and dog and there we go all right, so that got a little bit longer than I expected. Sorry about that. But there you have it. You have the basics for creating a relatively advanced search engine for your website um, using the Metaphone function, um, phonetic sounding out uh, in PHP.